That is a 2001 Harley Davidson Sportster 1200 with a 21 inch front wheel. Is that bike awesome or what? Okay, now we're going to get on to 114. And uh, this is a uh, heritage. I like the color. I like I like that green. It's a little more conservative bike here. That's a badass bike. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, it is. It's a little more conservative bike here, but I mean, this has uh, got the 114. So yeah. <coughs> I've never <coughs> never tried the 114. <coughs> it's, uh, so the 114 is similar, but it has a little bit more of a torque curve to it. Okay. Now the 107 is just a straight pull all the way through. Okay. <coughs> kind of have a peak to them, you know, almost like a, I don't want to say a two-stroke, but it has a smaller RPM range where it's more alive than that, and then it kind of comes back down. Cool. You'll see as you go through it, it just has like a, you know, a twist to it that comes up and then comes back to where the standard 107 is. Interesting. So, Oh boy, this is a nice bike, man. I can tell right now it's nice. Very, very comfortable. This is a little more conservative bike, but it's, it's got the windshield on it. It's a six speed, of course, and it's got the 114 motor in it. Clutch is a little different. I don't know why it would be, but it feels a little different. <clears throat> this is the 114, guys. This is awesome sauce right here, man. Oh, man, this is a comfortable bike. Wow, is this comfortable. 2018 Heritage. Softail Deluxe with the 114 motor. Test ride here. Uh, Space Coast Harley Davidson. Uh, many thanks to Zach. Very nice, very nice feel to this bike. This is a comfortable bike right here. Now as far as the 114 uh, versus the 107, you know, it's hard to tell uh, on a limited ride like this, uh, comparison between, uh, between the two. This is fourth gear right now, we're 50 miles an hour. Just shifted into fifth and we'll cross through this light. Suspension on this bike is excellent. This is a beautiful experience right here. I like the windshield. Of course, you figured I'd say that, right? The Softail Slim did, without the windshield, did feel nice, though. I did like, I did like it. I like that feel a lot. This is a nice bike. Oh yeah. Oh man. And the frame change, the ride of that bike is crazy from a Softail last year to that. Unreal. That's why the dyna has gone.
little taste of uh, Route 1. Isn't that a cool sports there in front of us? That, that's old school right there, baby. Carbureted bike. Awesome. This bike cranks. This is the kind of this is the kind of road right here that you could really test this bike out on. But of course, if you get up on 95, then you'd really be able to get a uh, feel for the um, power on this 117 motor. This is a powerful motor right here. This thing cranks. Oh yeah. Powerful motor. Almost crazy powerful for that size of a bike. But... It, it'll pull you right off the handlebars. Yeah, you kind of need a little support. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to beat on it. I don't want to beat on it too much. Here's that soft tail swim. That's a badass looking bike, boy. He looks great on that bike. Look at it, six bikes right here. This is motorcycle city around here, man. What an awesome, awesome, awesome bike. Oh my God, I love the engine on that guy. All right guys, well I'm gonna sign off now. It's a hell of an experience. Hell of an experience.